All right, welcome back to Medieval Motors. Uh, today we're going to be working on the Silverado again, and we're going to try to replace those rusted out leaf spring shackles so that we actually have a rear suspension again. So uh, with all of the rust and everything else going on, this would be a prime opportunity to inspect the frame uh, for any major damage or anything. So we're I'm just going to take the bed off uh, so we can get a good look at everything that's going on and give me more room to work to get all those spring shackles and everything taken care of. So let's get to work. <laughs> So the best part about working on an old truck is all the rust you get in your face working underneath it. But we got six of the bolts out. Two of them uh, just rusted through the captured nut. So the bolts are still in, but they're not holding anything down. And so let's get the tail lights out, the filler neck out, and uh, we should be able to lift the bed off. All right, so apparently it's too hot for my phone to be filming, so switching to GoPro. Gonna have to take the tire off. Oh, son of a bitch, bitch, uh, son of a bitch, bitch, son of a bitch, 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 uh, gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say a uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> And here we are, we got the rusted out brackets replaced. And as these trucks typically go, it's the shackles that go bad. So I bought shackles instead of the brackets, full disclosure. And I figured while I was buying brackets, I might as well get the two inch drop brackets and we can get this thing all leveled out and it should be good to roll. So there's the passenger side, and there's the driver's side. Now, unfortunately, taking the bed off has revealed some other issues that we'll need to be taking care of in the future. Filler neck, completely rusted away. Pretty sure that's the cause of the EVAP code that was stored when I bought the truck. So we'll have to deal with that. Um, I have that part on order. And we have genius ingenuity here using a ratchet strap to hold up the back of the fuel tank because the strap holding it up rusted out would be my guess. So I'll have to get one of those on order. And we're missing some significant metal out of one of the cross braces. So I'm probably going to have to measure that out and see if I can come up with something. Because while it doesn't appear overly important here, it's just holding up the fuel strap bracket. Over here, it's a shock support. So... We're going to have to figure out what to do with that. Also, while I have the bed off, I'm going to replace the shocks. 
and dress up some of the other things going on back here. Might end up doing the exhaust, although the exhaust actually looks in decent shape considering it looks like it's stock and, you know, a quarter million miles old. So I'm guessing somebody replaced it with factory components. But I think we can do better on the exhaust. The hitch also shows signs of being completely rusted out. Don't really want to use this for towing, so we're going to need to get a new hitch for it. And brackets, the bumper's gone. I may just end up redoing the whole back end of this thing. I definitely need to uh, fab up some lights uh, so that I can still drive this thing uh, without a bed. Um, and we'll see how long it takes for the cops to figure that out. So I threw a temporary plug on the gas tank so that I can drive it without spilling fuel everywhere. But that's going to have to change because PVC and regular rubber weren't meant for fuel systems. Come down here, still got all the rust. Got those. I've added some temporary lighting. This will give me turn signals and uh, running lights and brake lights. Hopefully, uh, the police don't think that this is as sketchy as I do. Uh, but we just tapped into the regular wiring harness, found all the wires that we needed. And I've even tied them into a seven way uh, trailer plug. That way, uh, when this thing does get rebuilt on the rear end, I can still tow my trailer to get the parts for my other truck. So. We should be good there. It's a hot day. I'm going to be glad to go inside. But if you like what you saw today, consider a like, share, comment. Let's get all the uh, YouTube things that we need to do to get this channel out there and let people witness the goofery. Is that a word? Tomfoolery? Tomfoolery is better. All right. So until next time. Later.